New York State dairy industry has strong roots across the state, not just in the fields where farmers grow corn, soybeans, and plant cover crops to protect our lakes and rivers. Essential workers throughout our food supply chain play an important role in feeding New Yorkers, working day and night to keep the supply chain moving. They include skilled farm workers who work alongside farmers every day to care for the animals, crops, and each other. There are truckers transporting fresh milk and produce from upstate and Long Island farms to the five bureaus and beyond. We have bankers and insurers helping farmers make investments in equipment like new milking parlor technology, barn cooling systems, and building housing for employees. The food pantries that continue to work with the farmers and volunteers to get healthy meals to underserved areas of our state. And we could not be successful without our 250 vendors that we help support, including hoof trimmers, veterinarians, and our partners at the State Departments of Ag and Markets and Environmental Conservation, along with local soil and water conservation districts, all of which support the health and safety of our teams, our cows, and our land. They all play an important role in ensuring families are fed. We have 35 employees on our farm who are critical to our success. We milk 1,600 cows and rent and farm nearly 4,500 acres. A dozen of our employees have been with us over 10 years, a few close to 20. I'd wager one employee who has been with us nearly two decades is the best calf raiser in the Northeast. We provide insurance, rent-free housing, retirement plans, and flexible schedules. Work-life balance is important, so employees can spend time with families, see kids' baseball games, or play in their own soccer tournaments with coworkers. We recently hosted a dairy roundtable attended by legislators, including the chair of the Committee on Agriculture Assembly member Lopardo, the chair of the Committee on Agriculture, Senator Hinchy's chief of staff, also Senator Borello, Assembly member Tague, and New York State Commissioner of Ag and Markets, Richard Ball. We discussed labor challenges, unpredictable weather, increased in costs in feed and gasoline, and how dairy farmers are price takers and have no control over the price of milk. We discussed the need to change what farmers are paid per 100 pounds of milk, which hasn't changed in over 40 years. We invited representatives from the trucking industry, which are needed to haul milk to processors and stores within a very specific window of time to ensure milk remains chilled and fresh for the consumers. They were able to express their frustrations with regulations and labor issues, just to name a couple. We encouraged all attendees to speak with farm families, employees, and to hear for themselves the love for farming these essential workers have. What can you do to support local farms? When you buy milk at the grocery or farmer's market, look for the container's barcode beginning with the number 36. That means it was made using milk from New York family farms. The numbers that follow are the plant code, indicating where it was processed and packaged. And in the heart of Queens, there's a 47 acre farm called Queens County Farm Museum. Plan time to visit, ask questions and learn about the diversity and the complexity of agriculture. You'll get a chance to engage in hands-on activities and learn about the importance of locally produced food. We are learning we need to provide more education and opportunities with consumers. The Farm Museum, the New York State Fair are great vehicles for that. Your support matters and allows us to continue to provide nutritious milk and food to neighbors and families in every corner of the state.